Okay, so today here I'm playing DC Universe, and as you could see, there's a new event going on, which is currently boosting one random character on any platform to max level, which is level 30, with almost optimal, well, almost powerful gear level, which is CR 255. And the armor set's pretty nice. I created one boosted character on PS4, I did one boosted character on PS3, I did one boosted character on Nintendo Switch. I haven't done Xbox yet because that takes forever to download. The armor is really, really great and no, I'm not a member because one, I'm not going to pay for such flawed intuition and I really don't need it. But the membership stuff that they have is really, really nice. and surprisingly great and I enjoy it as for when I did it as you saw from the beginning of the video which was probably a really really short cut is a character that was boosted well it was about to be boosted so I had to create a brand new character on PS4 because my old PS4 account got banned but that account was linked to my PC account so it wouldn't really have mattered anyway it would have just took my PC character and transferred over to PS4 so I have a new PS4 account, and um, as you can see here, I just sped through this because I had to do the tutorial, and they made it slightly better than the old one. I'm not showing you how horrendously bad the old one was, because Christ help anybody who had to deal with that a long time ago. I was one of those people. I played DC Universe when it first launched. It's not a bad game. I just con don't condone buying literally everything that they keep throwing out for the title and I made two female characters um, and one male uh, my if the Xbox version had finished earlier and me not making this video six almost 30 minutes long 30 minutes long I would have easily and most efficiently said you know what I'll wait till that one's finished record and do something but as you can see, I could, I really just wanted to make a short video showing, well, some gameplay footage of DC Universe, showing you that if you want to do this, it's easy. Just download, install the game. You don't need to make an account on console. You just turn it on. You start playing. You get past the tutorial between now and the end of this month, and you can create a boosted character. You get to play all the episodes for free. I don't have footage of that. I have some footage of some other stuff that's relatively nice and really really cool to see. Um, I get my ass handed here to me by this AI, by this uh, enemy. Uh, I thought it was a weakling but apparently not. Sometimes the enemy scalings really don't match people who haven't played this game in years and it doesn't favor anybody. Now, usually when I play, I always do dual guns and pistols or tech and acrobatics. But my favorite first, uh, means of traversal is acrobatics. I just really like it. It's fun. Getting curve stomped by this guy twice is just wrong. And then he glitches on me. It's like reverse teabagging, but instead of him teabagging me, he's just bouncing around. Now, I did get past it, and now here's the character being boosted. Um... And as you can see, this is a whole lot more refined than it should be. They even put up a notification system in game to tell you about all the cool, neat stuff. And I decided, I was like, hmm, I didn't really, I was going to like do something new and do something different. And here on my channel, I always record Minecraft videos. I'm trying to learn how to edit videos. And I borrow my friend's MacBook Pro 2019 15-inch just to edit a video. And in doing so, it I'm not sure how you all will perceive it and take it, even though you all want Minecraft videos. I'm trying to learn how to do video editing and other such of the liking. Now here I'm just messing around with my character because I didn't really 
customize the character completely. I just changed the skin color, the hair, and the outfit color. But uh, I just chose a preset and decided to go into the game with that. There are a lot of really, really nice powers I would love to show off in this game. But they all require cash. And they're not cheap. They're horribly not cheap. They're expensive on all platforms. You could also pay for the membership, which is like $15, $30 when it's on sale, to $50. So it's like 15 30 50 or 100 give or take. I can't remember. But it's usually really, really out there in the price range. But... Usually you can get a good amount of months off when it goes on sale. And that's the best part. You can actually enjoy playing this game with friends or by Well, it's better to play with friends. Don't try to play this by yourself. It, it sucks and it hurts and you'll die a lot. And I should know I was playing. I was dying to petty and stupid things. And it just wasn't fun but the game itself is fun I just don't have the warranted time or the investment to want to play the whole entire game <coughs> I'm still suffering from nasal congestion problems for the lack thereof but as you can see in the gameplay footage is three different characters running three different power mixtures per se I think my favorite combination is dual guns with ice for if I want to just play around for fun. Uh, my second favorite would be hand blasters with sorcery. And mind you, none of these powers are, oh, I paid for them with via DLCs. No, these are just free powers. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. My throat is like clogged up from time to time. And, um, as the third character, I really don't know what the preset was for it. They're also doing an event called Attack of the Anti-Monitor, which is an anniversary event, with one of DC Universe's most kind of post I guess, well, f to me, it's like a really redundant situation, because he's anti-matter trying to destroy matter when... Antimatter can't touch matter to begin with, so I don't know. Which is kind of a weird scenario or notion that I don't get. So, a lot of what's going on in DC Universe is gone to, well, it's gone from like simplistic DLCs to, okay, let's talk about Raven, her dad. The apocalypse and then metal as in metal bands with bat metal they did a couple of parts you could play all 35 episodes you get to play the green lantern ones even though this version of the anniversary event does not come with the ability to have all the powers unlocked which they did once i missed it i wish i had footage of it and i wish i had a character created during that time because I would have literally created a munitions character or a Red Lantern character to play with, but I didn't. And whenever they decide to do it again, I will more or less have that character created. And as far as items, well... The equipment that they give you is really, really nice. It has very, very decent stats. And they give you exobytes that I probably didn't show you in this footage. But I can post another video about it later, showing off the new system with the exobytes that allow you to upgrade your exobytes. Now, for here, I chose to show off um, this other part of the event for when you're playing on the weekends. It's only for a short while, so it's not going to last that long. But hey, it's it's something. And here's my other character, the Sorceress Hand Blaster, which uh, I would love if someone in the description would tell me about how to run this class, to run this uh, weapon or uh, power archetype. It's really, really damaging. I just don't know how to use it. 
But keep in mind, I was playing on my HP Evo laptop. It's not great for video editing. It's not great for recording. But because I have an Elgato HD 60S, and I borrowed my parents' um, Acer Predator uh, 15 gaming laptop, which they got last year. No, they got it two years ago. I think it was last year or the year before. Show, um, allowed me to record my not so great gaming laptop because my desktop is not really in optimal condition. And the other play style is like this character is my Switch. No, wait, this character is my PC character. The first character you saw was my Switch character. And then the third character you'll see, which is the one that has the uh, weird powers, but you see more footage of. Well, it's the only character that didn't die in all of this. It well, didn't have a death scene in any of the footage. Is the character I did on PS4. So I did two female characters, one on PC, one on PS4, and one male, and that was my Switch character. Now, surprisingly, this game runs really, really well and looks really good on Switch. And I like that, especially when it's docked. It barely has frame, like, it doesn't really stutter unless you get a large amount of people coming by. Same thing with how the old PS4 version used to work. It used to stutter a lot if there was a lot of people in the area. But the Switch version holds up very, very well, and I like it. Even though DC Universe is technically a game that's more of a if you're not paying for it, you're not going to get the most out of your money type of game, well, it's still fun to play. And when they do these events where you could play for free during their free weekends or when they do a month free of stuff, like uh, free content and level boosters, that's the best time to start playing the game. And they give you brand new gear that they just now created for this event for free as long as you create a character. Now you're only limited to one character. So if you want to have four level 30, 255 item level characters, you want, well, CR stands for character ranking, if anyone wants to know, but by other games, it's item level. So, in all technicality, it's still item level. So, if you want a 255 item level character between January 7th, which was a couple days ago, to January 31st, you can create a level boosted character. But all you have to do is complete the tutorial. The character can be brand new, it could be old, it doesn't really matter. As long as the character is created, and they get to level 4, in other words, past the tutorial, which I showed you footage of that, you will get that boosted character option. Now, if you're playing on Switch, I'm sorry, you won't be getting that item level 255 like everybody else. You're going to get item level 100. And you're going to be under tier if you try to go into PvP against item level 255 people because they will slap your... Slap your crap in. Well, slap your stuff in. <coughs> Sorry for the piss poor verbal articulation. Uh, a lot of things have been going on. And some for the better, some for the worse. Now, as you can see, they haven't really updated the styles tab. And when you. As this video is more or less like an update video of how this game is faring in 20, 2020. There's still a lot of people playing this game on PS4, PC, and Switch. I will get back to y'all with Xbox another time when it finishes download and stops taking more than a couple of hours of my time to download. I don't have time to wait on it. But... The thing that a lot of people that I still find annoying is on PC the UI is great. On console the UI still sucks to this day and it's hard to manage because you keep backing out of the menu. But in all honesty, you don't really go into the UI to play customized outfit simulation 
when there's plenty of other games out there like Black Desert where you can just go ham on buying a bunch of outfits, paint them all up different colors and just slap them on together while messing around with character customization for your next character that you're going to be slapping a bunch of outfits on. Or like Warframe where everybody's just playing the game for fashion and Railjack instead of playing it for the storyline that they're trying to portray. I mean, it's Warframe, it's Fashion Frame, it's... That's all there is to it. Fashion. <laughs> but the fact that DC Universe still to this day, ever since its launch, has survived the hellish nightmare of, well, loot boxes, paid trans like tr microtransactions, and pay-to-win aspects, DC Universe is not the best thing in the world. It never will be, and it never, and it can't be because, hey, at the end of the day, they're still charging you for something. You want a new power-up? That costs money. You want to play this new episode? That costs money. You want to do this? That costs money. Oh, here's an item that you get for boosting your character. Oh, wait, that costs money. I forgot. They'll give you an item with the boosted character as a utility belt. You cannot use it until you buy a buy the utility belt perk in the item shop. And that costs physical money. And it sucks. The fact that they're still charging you for petty things that you think after all these years they would have just taken care of and stopped charging people for in general. But at the end of the day, they're still trying to charge people for it. They're still trying to make money off of it. And it's just it just hurts to see that they, they're still doing that to their community. I mean, the MMO's not bad. It's fun. Out of Marvel, out of the Marvel MMO and uh, Infinite Crisis, which was practically just DC Universe alternate timeline mumbo jumbo, this game survived out of most superhero MMOs. Hell, City of Heroes probably would surpass this game, this MMO, if it was still alive and thriving, but it got shut down due to a lawsuit problem. And it came from Marvel themselves. They sued NCSoft and got them to and forced them to shut it down. But DC Universe went to Sony, and Sony's like, we'll make you a DC Universe MMO, and surprisingly, it still holds up. And I love how they improved the graphics, improved the textures, improved the models of objects, buildings, people, effects, voice lines. It didn't sound crappy as all hell, like in 2013 and kind of 2012. But... Well, in reality, oof. <laughs> like, they could have done better elsewhere and said, hey, at the end of it all, we could make a really, really great game, or we can charge everyone an arm and a leg for literally everything. But they chose to provide subpar content, but only to the people who are willing to throw money at it. And another company that kind of does this is um, Star Wars The Old Republic. Yeah, their MMO is fun. They made it better over years, but I'm not going to shell out money for a subscription, subscription membership to play it. Champions Online has the same thing. You want nice things? Fork it up and pay for a subscription membership. I played Champions Online, I played DC Universe, I played Infinite Crisis, I played City of Heroes, City of Rogues, City of Villains. I played a lot of MMOs, as you can tell. And to truly be honest, none of those um, transaction things help. They make it worse on an MMO. And I really don't tolerate it nor like it. And I truly, truly hate it with a passion. And I really wish companies would just quit it in general. But we can't win everything, and who knows? 
if we try to do something nice, we'll just get cucked in the end by another company doing the same repetitive stuff. So, it's technically a win-lose situation for the most part, but it's a good or bad win-lose situation. Minus the fact that I'm just rambling on <laughs> to add more content to the video. And like make it not seem like there's less things to talk about but I also wanted to point out that I wanted to do something unique for the channel but it also has I still also have to factor in um, doing and like taking requests for content still and I'm not going to negate taking requests for content I'm not going to negate um, like I'm not going to negate rejecting what people want but don't try to ask me for something and not ask me if I'll be able to do it off the bat because that's a little self-centered but that's a and if or so scenario uh, problem not a you problem but it's more or less a me problem um, I do plan on making a channel update video but for the time being I'm just gonna hold off on that to see how people like this video and the edit and if more people play games like DC Universe, I mean, I have a Nintendo Switch, I have an Xbox One X, I have a PS4 Pro, I have a crappy gaming PC, I have a crappy normal laptop, I have a Wii U, Christ, and anybody remember the Wii U? Um, but besides the point, no, I don't really play Smash Bros, so don't ask me for Smash Bros. <laughs> like, I'm not really into playing that that type of game. I bought the Fire's Pass, but I was borrowing a friend's copy of the game, so I gave it back to him, so I'm like, eh, that doesn't really bother me. I didn't really play the game anyway. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, sad as it is, if, for people who don't really like the content, <coughs> um, there will be more Pokemon Sword and Shield content in June. But only in June, because uh, season pass. I beat Pokemon Sword Shield already. I don't really want to post the whole entire playthrough of that, that unless people want to see it. And like I tell people, if you want to see a full playthrough of a game, I'll do it. As for Roblox, I'm not really as hardcore into Roblox as I used to. I used to play it in the past. I used to play it a lot. But I it kind of killed it for me because I used to play it all the time in the past. So I don't really feel intuitive to want to play it as much. So when I do videos, I don't really want to do videos to try to get better at it, but I want to do videos to make people happy. I'm not trying to get perfect at a game. I just want to make content that makes people happy. And I always do MMO content because that's mostly what gets views on my channel. Um, MMO content and MMO update news. That's what thrives in my channel. Saying, hey, let me just record some gameplay footage of some MMOs, talk about it, show it off, do some betas. I mean, I will record Fantasy Star Online and let y'all decide what y'all think of it. I played on Japanese servers and I enjoyed it. I, I love playing it. And if I can't transfer my stuff on to American servers, I'll just play on Japanese servers again. No harm, no foul to me. <coughs> but back to DC Universe. I will play this with you, with you viewers if y'all ask. Or if you want to add me on Nintendo Switch or PS4 or Xbox, say, you can hit me up on Twitter. I put my Twitter handle there. You can hit me up on Snapchat. Just um, message me or like, just, well, there's a Discord link 
And if you go to the Discord link, you can message me there or message me on Twitter. I usually respond faster on Discord. Uh, actually, no. I respond to Discord messages faster than I do anything. Uh, as for Twitter, I rarely go on Twitter as much because I'm always working on something. And because I'm always working on something, I rarely touch Twitter as a whole. But as for this video, um, it's recorded in 1080p, and I want to try encoding it into HDR to see how it looks, but Apple HDR is pretty dark, and I'm not really going to go into playing around with its settings and whatnot since I'm still unfamiliar with Final Cut Pro and I'm using a trial version not the actual version <laughs> and I don't own this MacBook I would love to own a lot of stuff but the only reason why I haven't really been making videos as often is because PC problems recording problems life problems and it doesn't help it makes it worse so if you all enjoyed this video, please, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I hope you all actually watch to the end of the video and tell me what you think. This is my first time editing on a Mac, and I want to know what y'all think. I'll let y'all finish watching the rest of this gameplay footage, and that'll be all for and that will be all from me, Nitroberry. See you another day. And have fun and be safe. School starts back next week on the 13th. I won't be starting. I'll be starting late start. So, see you then. <laughs>